Hello, up here at the Capitol still. We've got uh, a number of things going on, but I've got a question here. I think it'd be great to answer. This is a great question to answer. Superintendent Bates, what do you feel are the chances the district's early retirement incentive program will continue intact for the 2012-2013 school year? Okay, the chances, the short answer is absolutely. It's in place, not a problem, no question. Let me answer that a little bit longer quick. Uh, there are three retirement systems, really, that we're, that we're involved with. The first is federal Social Security. We don't have anything to do with that, really. You, you qualify by age and some different things, so that's the, the one retirement system. Then, as district employees, there is the, uh, there's the state retirement system, and that's depending if you're a Tier 1 or a Tier 2 and the 2% the per year. That's, that, that's still not what we're talking about. What we're talking about here is this third program. It's the district's early retirement incentive program. In theory, a number of years ago, well, in theory, if people from the from a high step retire and are replaced with people from a low step, or you know, a step one or something like that, there's a savings there. And in fact, that's that's the case. And so, a number of districts years ago put in place early retirement incentive programs to incentivize people. Actually, the what comes, the money that comes from the early retirement incentive program was originally intended to help people pay for health insurance until such time as, as uh, Medicare kicked in. But however you think of that, now Granite District has this early retirement incentive program that gives different, uh, different benefits to folks upon retirement. So what happened to a lot of these programs around the state, when Enron went under a number of years ago, I don't know how many of you remember that, there were, there were some folks at Enron that raided their retirement program and disappeared with, with lots and lots of money. And so what the government put in place then was if you've got an early retirement program, you have to have that money, the money designated and set aside so that were your company to go out of business today, you would have in a savings account, you'd have set aside what you needed to be able to meet all of those retirement uh, obligations, those post-retirement benefits for all of your potential employees throughout the end. Well, for Granite District, that's a significant dollar amount. For lots of other districts, that was a significant dollar amount too. Gratefully, our business administrator, Dave Garrett, for years had said, if we've got this potential obligation, we really ought to be setting money aside to, to fund that. Now, folks laughed at him and said, nobody else is doing that. How come you want to do that? But you know, Dave felt strongly about that and gratefully to him, we had set that money aside uh, for years and built that up. And so when these requirements went into place by the government to, to that made everybody, every business to include government agencies and school districts to have that money actually set aside, we had it there in place. And so Granite's Early Retirement Incentive Program is fully funded meets all of that when I say fully funded the money set aside for that it's there in place we've got it there's no reason for us to to think that this program's at risk so absolutely it's certainly intact for the 12-13 school year and if you're committed to Granite School District we're committed to you thank you all